It is the month of August. The pale grey skies signify that the wet season is in full swing. And with rains more frequent, the water levels in bodies of fresh water, such as the stream, heightened. However, the water is still considered shallow, an ideal environment for the mosquito fish. Which has two species, the Gambusia affinis and Holbrooki. In fact, these creatures are found most abundantly in shallow water throughout its natural habitat, protected from larger fish such as bass, catfish and bluegill. Here in San Fabian, particularly in Bindai, one of the potential predators for mosquito fish would be the omnivorous Clarius catfish present in the area. These fish could grow at a maximum size of 19 to 24 inches, in comparison to their Gambusia counterpart, which could only reach 7 centimeters for females, while 4 centimeters for males. Thus, for these fish, the shallow water serves as their shield, especially their vulnerable fry. Though sometimes, mosquito fish also eat fry whenever they're present. When the fries eventually develop into adults, a prolific mosquito larvae eating machine owns up to the name mosquito fish, devouring hundreds of larvae per day. The mosquito fish. Its hardiness and due to its ability to consume mosquito larvae at a large degree, it has been introduced to other bodies of water besides its original habitat. For the sole purpose of reducing the number of mosquito-borne infections. Indeed, the mosquito fish was an effective biological control of mosquitoes. But there's a downside to that. Heavily regarded as one of the most dangerous invasive species at a global scale, the mosquito fish's ability to tolerate a wide variety of water conditions enabled it to reproduce virtually anywhere there's livable water. Furthermore, these fish are known to be greedy eaters, capable of outcompeting native species and eventually taking over newfound territory. They are also known to cause algae blooms by consumption of beneficial plankton in the environment that they are in. As we are pushed to breaking point, articles have been published to bring attention to this ongoing threat and authorities have stressed on the idea of ceasing the release of invasive creatures. But, we cannot disregard how helpful they can also be, and if ever that people might use the Gambusius Mosquito Control Service, they should be kept within properties away from waters that are in their natural environment. In the end, if given an appropriate living space, as well as having knowledgeable people regarding the species, the balance of nature is maintained, and we are the leverage. Everything finally falls to its rightful place. <laughs>